Hello. Hi. You know, I started on cleanup just like you guys. But now, see, I'm washing lettuce. Soon I'll be on fries, then the grill. A year or two, I make assistant manager. And that's where the big bucks start rolling in. Just two years, eh? <laughs> yeah, that, that, that is probably one of the most famous movies in the black community. Easily. Easily. And, and maybe the white community. Maybe too. the white community. Yeah. I'm not sure if they yeah. were watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Eddie. You yeah, know, he's yeah. Cr he crossover. Yeah, yeah, big time. That's a big movie. He remember Forty Eight Hours. Uh huh. Then I think he went right into that after either Forty Eight Hours one or well, two. Trading Places was before that. Oh yeah, Trading had, Places. Yeah. That was white. That was white. Yeah, <laughs> that was white. Yeah. No black people watch that. No. Beverly Hills. Cop. What are they doing? Beverly Hills Cops. Was, uh, that was... was one and two. Was there two of them it was though? Two yeah. of them. One yeah. definitely came out before. One and then Trading Places, and then Beverly Hills. Two, right? Yeah, yeah. And then Coming, Coming to America. America. Yeah. White people didn't watch Harlem Nights. They didn't watch Harlem Nights. <laughs> nobody that was watched a brilliant that, movie. That was a brilliant Black movie. people watched it. And nobody watched no, it. No, 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 I love Eddie, it, but yeah. nobody, nobody three people watched it. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <laughs> Richard, was it Richard in it? Yeah, Richard. Richard Red Fox. Fox. People watched it then. Red Fox. Red Del Reese. Yeah. Del Reese. Yeah. Arsenio. Love, them. Arsenio. love them. Arsenio. A lot of black people. It's a black. Yeah. yeah. He, oh. Arsenio was white in that, though, wasn't he? <laughs> oh, <laughs> my, I'm kidding. I love Arsenio. Come on. Don't do that, Louis. Well, I grew up in the project, so I got to just have some fun. <laughs> oh, you mean <laughs> Arsenio get mad at you? Well, uh, Prince is from Minneapolis. What? <laughs> what does that mean? Well, yeah, I, guess I don't want to cause no trouble. I love everybody. Right? Oh, man, it's okay, too. man. I don't care. In 2017, somebody's yeah. mad at me. Hey, man. Yeah, you got. You can't worry about people being mad. Can't anymore. worry about that, man. Will you have your name Sway, right? Yeah, yeah. Will you have Sway as a name? People are going to be mad right off. What's yeah. his name? Sway. How come he? He yeah. just got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to have Sway. <laughs> yeah, they get pissed. Yeah. I think Louie, too, though. Louis. By the way, Louie Anderson is here, ladies and gentlemen. What up, Louie? Uh, yeah. What up? Yeah. Everybody loved Louie. You yeah. know, like, yeah. when, you, when you were little, if there was a kid named Louie, right. he was exempt yeah. of everything. Nobody it's true. Nobody was, it wouldn't, wouldn't beat on you too much. Nah. Just take your candy, of course. But not all of mine, obviously. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, can I tell you a little story about that movie? Yes. Coming to America? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because that's a big movie, you yeah. know, in yeah. my life. That's a big thing. First big job. Um, I was in at the comedy store. I know Eddie from the comedy store. And I'd always go, Eddie, you're too dirty on stage. Be clean. Because <laughs> you could be funnier being clean. You'll just do twice the business. Right. And he'd just look at me. And that'd be all right. Because he liked me. He thought I was funny. And I think, anyways. But so... We were at the Ivy, which is a restaurant in yeah. in mm -hmm. Beverly Hills, you know, mm -hmm. where you, you think you're famous. famous so you yeah. go in there. I thought you hang out. Yeah, you hang out to hope to see someone who'll go, hey, yeah. you're yeah. funny. The paparazzi. Yeah, right. Yeah. So it's kind of that kind of thing. Eddie, I used to like the shrimp in there. <laughs> the, uh, they had the peppered shrimp. I go, give me that peppered shrimp, will you? Just for reference, what year was this that you remember? 1901. You remember? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. Uh, let's see. What year was that? 80, 88? And you remember the shrimp, is what I was The saying. shrimp, yeah. Oh, <laughs> you know I see. Okay, I got go, you. go, go for it. Go ahead. All right. So, anyway, so you're at Ivy's. I'm at Ivy's. I'm sitting there eating the shrimp. Eddie comes in with his entourage. You know, probably six, eight, ten people. God damn. You know, because Eddie was Eddie. Eddie. I mean, yeah, Eddie's, he was, Eddie's you, know, yeah. you know, that was it. And <clears throat> I said to the waiter, I go, listen, put Eddie's bill on my card but don't tell him till after i leave i'm not doing it to to be a big shot i'm doing it because i'm from the midwest and that's something you would do mm. so i did it because nobody ever buys eddie's yeah i bet i didn't think and that's the kind of thing i like to do so the next day i get a call from uh i think it was him or it was i think it was him to thank me and then his person took over you know his guy he goes nobody ever bought me that you know I'm doing this little movie called Coming to America. I'm gonna get a. I'm gonna put a part in it for you. Wow! Are you serious? I'm serious. Wow! And then, and then because of that, I got that part. I'd have to audition for it. I just got that part. I don't know if it was already in, and somebody lost the part. Because but <laughs> <That would laughs> you be laugh wild. at you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know, that's life, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And 
<coughs> excuse me and um you know that was it and and it was uh the best six hundred and sixty dollars I ever spent. <laughs> Damn, six hundred sixty dollars bought his way into coming to America. Yeah. But isn't that an amazing, mm -hmm. wonderful yeah. story? Yeah, yeah. be yeah. kind, kids. Through payola, you got a part. I yeah. see it. Yeah, yeah. good job, Louis. And Louis Anderson. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Stick with it. I'm yeah. gonna get. I'm telling you. I heard Kevin Hart might. I had a cold, so I'm okay. taking a cough drop with uh, codeine. <laughs> that was off here at any moment. A, a Great lean flavor. cough drop. Anyway, <laughs> what you hear about Kevin Hart? A lean though? cough drop. That's good. <laughs> a lean. You know, I used to be able to lean. Um, I had a '68 Chevy. I could lean right onto it. I had a little thing that came down in the middle. I would lean. Um, <laughs> Louis Anderson is here. Um, he was saying about Kevin Hart. So right. Kevin Hart, I heard, was going to do a remake of it. Oh, no. And I said, I got to get the part again still working there. <laughs> oh, my God. Because that would be really funny if Maurice, yeah. that was that's his right, name, that's, yep. was still working there. And that's yeah. why I met John Landis. He just asked about me recently through someone. You know, John Landis, great director. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I remember I, when I came to New York, he sat down with me at a meeting, you know, to, you know, because he hadn't met me, and he had just got that. <coughs> I hope this isn't contagious. <coughs> it's, um, <laughs> it, it definitely sounds like yeah. it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's diphtheria. So. That or whooping cough. Don't you ever think when they say whooping cough? Every time they say whooping cough, I want to go like this, like a big bird. Whooping cough, that's what I got. Um... Anyways, and I thought, what a cool idea. I know people wouldn't like it if he remade it because it's almost like a sacrilegious Yeah, it'd thing. be hard yeah. to remake that one, man. Yeah. It's like yeah. taking a great song and redoing it. You see that? But if anybody could, maybe uh, Kevin, Kevin Hart could, right? could be the guy to do it, though. Maybe <laughs> pulling the right me. players, get you on it again. Do you think that, didn't he kind of do it in that movie with Ice-T? No, not Ice-T. Ice, Ice Cube. Ice Cube, Ice Cube mm -hmm. which is, you know, T was out. And they get said, right should on. we get T? No, T's out. Let's get Cube because he's hot right now. Oh, wow. uh, I'm teasing. I love T. Yeah. You see that commercial kills me. The one where he's sitting There's on the lawn. Lemonade. Yeah, yeah. Lemonade. No, lemonade. Lemonade. <laughs> but you know, I know Ice T. I can only imagine how much they had to pay him to do that. Oh, right. my God. Oh, my God. They had to thaw him out. There was so much money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, man, uh, you want to talk about baskets at all? Yeah. <laughs> all right. yeah. I, I, I don't know. I came in because this is like, you know, this is, you don't just ask anyone in. No. Not, at, not all. at all. And that's why I felt, you know, I felt, yes, I want to sway. Yeah. Sway. Yes, he does. Hey, Louis, you, you're a citizen, man. Louis well, Anderson. Sway in the morning. Yes, yeah, he man. is. You, you, you're someone, um, really, I use this show to meet the people I wouldn't be able to meet otherwise. Yeah. That I've admired or grew up with or made me laugh or made me cry. So I could sit across and say, I got a chance to have Louis Anderson on the show. That's very sweet. Yeah, that's Thank what it you is, so man. much. Um, and congratulations. Um, Baskets, yes. Baskets, man. You're killing that. Isn't that? That's another good story. Yeah. Where I bought. Two dinners, no. <laughs> I um, I got a call. I was in Vegas. I work Vegas a lot. Mm -hmm. And um, my agent, an old agent, Steve Levine, great guy, he said, Louis C.K. wants your number. I go, give it to him. You know, mm -hmm. I don't mind. Have him call me. He calls me, goes, Louis. I go, hi, Louis. That's all I wanted to do because I hardly ever get to say that because there aren't that many Louis. Right. Not a lot of Louis. Yeah, that's so he like calls an me. older name. Now, yeah, right? that's, that's like a name almost. You yeah, got to have a trumpet. You got to, what is that, a trumpet? Yeah, I'm Louis. Um. <laughs> so, so Louis C. Cake calls me. I go, hi, Louis. He goes, hi, Louis. He goes, I'm here with Zach Galifianakis. Um, and we're going to do a show. Would you do a character in it? I go, yeah, I'll do it. First, I pretend I was busy. Hey. Hold on. Let me check. <laughs> let me check. See my nothing. I got nothing. I'm good till 2020. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
he said, uh, would you play his mother? I go, yes. Because mm-hmm. I do my mom's voice in my act. I did it on my cartoon, mm-hmm. Life with Louie. You know, I would always award do... winning cartoon. Thank you. You know, the award winning cartoon. Yes, ladies. Say it again. You know. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Somebody a... said, um, What are you going to do with the Emmy you won? I said, Well, that makes three of them, and so I'm going to make a glass table, you know, with the top. Because <laughs> then you got the three different yeah. spots on it. Because mm-hmm. he said, Oh, you won an Emmy. I go, Yes, do your homework. <laughs> 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 Even though I never did. I never did. No, I never. I'm never mean like that. I just pretend I'll I am. You, yeah. I'm nice. Well, let me ask this question because you play Christine Baskets, who's the mother of Zach Galifianakis' character. Oh, yeah. yeah. Are there any parallels between a struggling clown and a struggling comic? Yeah, that's a really great... Ooh, that's a good question. Ooh la la. Never heard that one, huh? Sway in the morning. Sway in the morning. (laughs) (laughs) Jesus. Shaq. Doing a commercial for the general, Shaq. (laughs) Shaq. And his skin is soft from the other commercial. And he's got... Anyway, I love Shaq. And um, I'm a huge, you know, basketball fan, so... I'm a lot different than people think because I grew up different. People always think I'm white for some reason. You would say something about the project. Yeah, I grew up in the project. Where? Minneapolis. Min- St. Paul. The St. One, Paul. Yeah, we had nice lawns. That was the difference. Oh, okay. Although, okay. You know, it was a different kind of, but it was the projects. It was the same. Same. I mean, it I wasn't did, the I same. Did, okay, but, did y'all have roaches? But, I mean, did, the did, roaches had their own apartments. <laughs> they had their oh, own okay. I know. Did you have mice? Well, we moved Did you in. have crime? Right. Yeah, we had crime. Okay, had okay. Crime. It might yeah. have been the yeah. projects. Maybe. Just because, you know, they were brand new projects when we moved in, so there were no mice then. Uh-huh. The roaches would put, come later. I'm sure there's roaches there now. Mm. But I'm just saying it, it's, um, you know, you're treated. If you're in the projects, you're treated like you're in the projects. Uh-huh. No matter what. They yeah. treat, you know, they'd line us up and that would be the project line and then the other kids. They would call us Project Line. No. Yeah. For what? Like food or, or no? What? No. <laughs> like what the hell? Get Rapping? in line. We're gonna spray it down. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get some lice treatment right now. <laughs> um, no. When we'd go home, you'd line up to go home. Oh, okay. You know, they had the school I went to. They were they would make us line up and then march out. It was ridiculous. Wow. I think so. They made sure we were all there. Actually, to be honest oh, with you, yeah. but they would call it the Project Line. Which wow. always made me think, what do you? Shut the project up, line. Shut up. That's how they keep you segregated. Yeah, yeah it's it's really um, Anyway, so <laughs> so Louis um, C.K. So yes, uh, but, question. Yes, so it, it, there is a thing between you know comics struggle and clowns should struggle and um, <laughs> should struggle. You know, clowns. I mean, you, you're brave if you decide one day you're going to be a clown for a thing because that's limited. Mm-hmm. Comics are kind of popular now, and mm-hmm. there's tons of work for them, but clown. But yeah. It's a similar thing. Let me, I never struggled. I was really lucky. Hmm. Let me ask you a question, man. We, 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 were, we were going back and forth because comics are always under a lot of scrutiny right now. I don't mm-hmm. know if you still got the Steve Harvey yeah. thing. Are they, under Steve, are they under Steve Harvey? What are they bothering him about? Oh, well, you know. He, you know, he, I was a host of The Feud before yeah, Steve. Yeah, before you would have. Right. Before Steve, you hosted The Feud. Yeah, yeah I, I loved, loved, it. loved I used to yeah, love I when you did Steve. it. Steve. Yeah, I thought yeah. he was doing a great job. He, he made a comic. Uh, some people felt it was racially insensitive, especially Asian men. Right. And, uh-huh. um. He was talking about, so he was um, commenting about books that give really ridiculous relationship advice. And then he stopped at one book that was basically for Asian men who want to get with white women. And this was his bit. That's one page, too. (laughs) Excuse me. Do you like Asian men? No. Thank you. You like Asian men? I don't even like Chinese food, boy. It don't stay with you no time. I don't eat what I can't pronounce. Okay, I mean, yeah, here's yeah. what I'll, I mean, that's controversial. Yeah, a lot here's of Here's things. what happens. Here's what happens. You're in the moment. You're trying to be funny on the show. It was during the show? Yeah. yeah. You're trying to be funny, am I right? Yeah. Something comes up there, and you do a thing, and it comes into your head, and your head goes, that's good. Keep it going. And then the crowd encourages you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, walk off the cliff. Walk off the cliff. <laughs> walk off the cliff. Walk off. Put your other foot off the cliff. Right? And then you, before you know it, 
that no one caught it before it aired? It was live, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was live, and then it, oh. it went viral. Internet caught yeah. it. Oh. Twitter caught it. And then um, <laughs> Eddie Wang, who you know is the author of Fresh Off the Boat, he did this whole op-ed for New York Times. He said he was upset <laughs> with Steve Harvey using his platform to perpetuate Asian stereotypes and emasculate the Asian man. Wow, that's I, a I lot for a, a joke. Yeah, that's what I, I thought it was a joke, but Jesus. <laughs> look, I'm not walking in Eddie Wayne's shoes. Yeah. But I, I was like, I thought he, it was a joke. Like, listen, Steve Harvey is not out there trying to make anybody less than trying to. In my opinion, Steve Harvey is not the guy that's trying to be controversial in mm-hmm. that. Gee, Steve, as many of us, thank God. There weren't recordings all this time up till now, (laughs) right? Or we'd all be, you know, in a lot of trouble. And I do jokes that, you know, sometimes afterwards I go, I used to do a joke about miso, Lisa, you know, that disease. Uh huh. What did you say? Mesothelioma. Yeah. And I had a joke about it. And it's a terrible, I didn't, I made it funny. Got a big laugh, Uh giant laugh. And a woman wrote me, I had a wonderful time at your show. Until the end, because I ended with the joke. It was so strong. And she wrote it and said, until the end. My husband died a terrible, horrible death from mesolisio. I can't even pronounce it, but you know what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I never did the joke again. Because my intention was not to make her have that reaction. Of course. And... Uh-oh. Now I have it. (laughs) (laughs) So that joke was too many, boy. (laughs) Be careful. She cursed him. (laughs) Be careful, Steve. Be careful, Steve. (laughs) (laughs) You become the joke. That shows commitment. Uh, May you have mesothelioma for life. But I didn't have any intent, and I would, I back Steve up on, I don't see Steve doing that on purpose. Yeah. And... You know, we're a hypersensitive world right now, and so I'm sorry that went that way. Because, you know, like, you know, he's had a couple of things like that, but, you know, yeah. that happens to you when you're on TV. Yeah, but you you're know? a comedian, though. I, I thought comedians get the, the, the pass. pass. Yeah. yeah. You know. They- well, I mean, I guess what if I was him, I, what did he say? Well, they coupled it this weekend because he also met with uh, President-elect Donald Trump. So they were pe- oh. people were coming for him for the Asian comment and that together. It, it just was a, a bad weekend, I guess. <laughs> they didn't eat Chinese, did they? Nah. Because no, that would have been the worst. What, am I going to get in trouble? No. <laughs> no, no. Trump like Mexican Hey, man, getting in trouble ain't such a bad thing in this no. game right now. Let me just say this, though. I just think. Don't you you have have you had Steve on the show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Steve Harvey. Steve is the nicest guy in yeah, the world. Yeah. And I am so happy for all of his success. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's got like nine shows on right now, doesn't he? Nine or ten shows. That's what I always 15. say. Just for the fun yeah, of yeah. it, you know. Because yeah. I'm jealous. I go, he's got <laughs> nine shows. How come I don't have a got, talk show? I need a suit line. Big Big boy suits. Yeah. Big boy. <laughs> big ass suits. Big ass suits. Is that bad? Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, no. I know, no. I like no, that's that. a good idea. Yeah, big, big ass suits. Big ass suits. Just big ass underwear. Yeah. It'd be oh, just no. so much easier to just sell underwear. Because people need them with big yeah, asses. They need drawers every When day. people have a big ass, they need a big pair of big <laughs> ass underwear. Because it's not comfortable. Because you need it. You Full need coverage. some room. So when you're going to yeah. go eat, you need to know that you've got room to have a little more food because you got big ass underwear. <laughs> you you have a look big at Big ass underwear. underwear. You, Don't you, you forget. One one pair per package. You got a giant. <laughs> you have a trumpet logo. <laughs> 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 hey, 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 you, you, you ever like, when I get out the shower, I like to look in the mirror and stuff. You, oh, ever, yeah. you ever look at your ass oh. in the mirror? Oh, I can't say. I don't know. I'd have to get quite an angle on it. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I'll see myself. Uh-huh. Without knowing I was in the room. I mean, I'll just look and I'll go, is that me? <laughs> yeah, have you ever had that thing where it hits five different oh, angles? Yeah, angles yeah. And you go, is that a, in the Museum of Modern History right there? Is that the Museum of Modern? Is that a Pacusi? Is that a... Pacusi! <laughs> Pacusi, is that... Steve Harvey oh, actually just I'm... put out a statement. Oh, oh, oh. He, heard just, you. he heard you, Louis. Like, Breaking literally news. just oh, tweeted no. it. No, what? Hold on, we got this. Breaking news on Sway in the Morning. Is it not? It's, it's a real, joke. It's real. I'm dead, dead ass. Straight from I Am Steve Harvey, the official Twitter page of Steve Harvey. <clears throat> 
I offer my humblest apology for offending anyone, particularly those in the Asian community. It was not my intention and the humor was not meant with any malice or disrespect whatsoever. You just got to do that nowadays, man. He got too many brands under his name. Yeah. The old Steve Harvey, yeah. Harvey would have been like, said, fuck, 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 fuck that, man. Ryan, you don't me. even come to my show. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. the old Steve Harvey yeah. would have. Well, yeah. you know, I guess that's the fix, right? That's what yeah. we have to do now. You so. got to do I'm, You know, but just to go back to the thing, I don't think any comic would want to inflict the pain like that woman, the pain she was in on my show. Yeah. I'm not going to ever do that. I don't need to do that joke. I'm not a one joke guy. Yeah. Steve's not a one joke person. We don't need that joke. We're trying to entertain, lighten people, make their lives better. You know, just like you are. Mm -hmm. You're trying to lift people up every day. You know, people don't, people all, uh, a lot of people are suffering. And they look towards your show and Steve and they might come to my show. They're not, they're coming to get away from mm -hmm. their troubles. Mm -hmm. They're coming there to have some laughs and get some relief. Because there's a lot of suffering and people, my mom always said it best, be nice to people because you don't know what kind of day they had. Yep. I agree with that. Louis Anderson, man. Uh, we barely even talked about baskets, but. Watch uh, it. Thursday even, night. Yeah, Thursday night. Make sure you watch <laughs> baskets. Uh, season two is premiering it. on FX. Yeah. Uh, it's. This Thursday. It's some great acting. Yeah. In this series. You. you do an excellent job, man. You now I've been of... on Sway. Yeah, man. And you're a citizen, Louis. I am. I am. Is that yeah, what it's called? Just, just a citizen, man. Oh, baby. Thank oh, you. Damn, I wish I didn't shake your I hand. have made it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, I wish I had some hand sanitizer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> we want to thank we want to thank Ron Howard's daughter oh, Bryce, up, buddy? <laughs> Bryce Dallas Howard for coming How about by. Her? Wow, oh. amazing! Oh, um, amazing. DJ Grace. Young Dynamite for coming by. <laughs> yes, Nick Grant return uh, his new Return album, to Cool. Return right. to Cool. You can return pick it up today. Cool. Minnesota Viking star Xavier Rose oh, for coming I'm by this morning. Tomorrow's show we have we have M Night Shyamalan. And oh, he's frightening. <laughs> You think he is? He scares, scares me, those movies. Yeah. I don't go no near any corn. <laughs> I do not go near corn. He's crazy. All right, who else we got? We got M. Night Shyamalan, and we also have... My calendar's not up yet. Hold on. All right. James, 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 James McAvoy is coming with oh. M. Night Neil Shyamalan. Patrick Harris yeah. and New Edition. The kid's Shit. playing New Edition. New Edition. Shit. Uh, we got a show. M. Sean Lamina. <laughs> I wish you, you had that name. It's been someone else your whole life. Can I get an M. Long Sean Lamina coming in? Your table's ready, M. Sean Lamina. Can I get Charles and Sean Lamina to get an M. Sean Lamina. Ding dong. <laughs> M. Sean Lamina, you are really a great filmmaker, man. You are just a great filmmaker. I love his stuff. It's really, he takes a lot of chances. Yes, he does. I see dead people. <laughs> Isn't, didn't he do After that one? Six fifths. Yes. Yeah. I, I see roast beef. <laughs> I see dead roast beef, people. <laughs> Louis Anderson, we have nothing <laughs> left to say. All right, thank you. It's Sway in the Morning, only from Shade 45. Kimmel.